Now let's take a look at the timeline of this case and what all sides said this afternoon. Lena Lyon tells us about what investigators called evidence the public saw for the first time today. I would ask that during these times of tension and trauma that you turn towards one another and not on each other. Calls for peace and calm from Akron Mayor Dan Horrigan following the news that eight Akron police officers will not face charges for the shooting death of Jalen Walker. The grand jury concluded that the officers were legally justified in their use of force. Attorney General Dave Yost laying out the evidence presented to the grand jury. Last June, a car and foot chase that ended with the death of Walker in a hail of police gunfire. In 6.7 seconds, 94 shots fired, 46 shots hit Walker. The law allows officers to use deadly force to defend themselves or others against a deadly threat. Prosecutors pointed to ODOT cameras that captured Walker's car being chased by police, calling the bright light coming from the driver's side the flash of gunfire, which Yo says was aimed at police. So when officers chased Walker on foot and when he made a turning motion and reached toward his waistband, officers unloaded their guns. It is critical to remember that Mr. Walker had fired on the police and that he shot first. Turns out Walker had no gun in his hand, having left it behind in his car. A comprehensive examination of the entire incident. Akron police will now use the evidence presented to the grand jury to begin its own internal investigation and review of the shooting. I will use the findings to determine if any policies or procedures were violated by any officer or if any policy, procedure, or tactic should be modified. But still not clear, a motive. Walker had no criminal history, no alcohol or drugs in his system. But we do know that Walker had recently lost his fiance in a car crash. And next to the gun that he left behind, a wedding band. And we are also learning for the first time today that in the month before the shooting, investigators found Walker's Google records show that he searched multiple times for the terms quickest ways to die. And one of his closest friends told investigators that Walker had asked about police tactics, specifically asking, quote, mm -hmm. how do people get cops to shoot them? Russ. You and I talked about this earlier, but specifically want to say that when the police were asked about this today, was this a, a quote unquote suicide by cop case? They said, we can't answer that because we cannot get into Walker's thinking at that time. That is correct. They prosecutors refused to speculate. Instead, their response was pointing people to the evidence file. The full evidence file from the Ohio Attorney General's office is right now on our website, WKYC.com. Okay, Lena Lai, thank you very much. Okay.